As pressure mounts on the Philippines government to speed up aid distribution, this has become a daily scene at Tacloban's typhoon-wrecked airport. Desperate at delays in deliveries, hundreds of survivors scramble to board a military plane to escape their flattened city. But there are not enough flights to cope. The sick, injured and elderly are officially allowed to board first, but many people complain that military families are often given priority. We haven't received anything, not even a drop of porridge. My two siblings could die. My older brother and my nephew are sick. I'm the only one who's not ill. Are they going to wait for all of us here to get sick and die one by one before they do anything? International help has arrived, including this Australian medical team and a U.S. aircraft carrier. But almost a week after Typhoon Haiyan slammed into the central Philippines, anger and frustration are boiling over. With some taking the law into their own hands, aid workers still expect the typhoon's confirmed death toll of some 2,350 to rise. The number of missing remains at 22,000, according to the Red Cross, though it says some of those unaccounted for may since have been located.